Hello, welcome to Road Trip Update. This is the first trip with the new 55 kWh battery, uh, improved aerodynamics, and um, yeah, generally overhauled vehicle. And yeah, the range uh, display, which is now correct, is uh, claims 250 kilometers of range. We shall see. Total distance today is 350 kilometers. Let's see how it goes. And we've reached uh, the stretch where I did my high speed run some time ago. But today we're not doing any high speed runs. We are hyper miling. Well, not hyper hyper miling, but I'm like going 100 or 110 in chill out mode. No semis to draft behind anyway today. Well, in fact, there's one there, but yeah, I don't want to go that slow. Right, predicted range has dropped to 230 kilometers, and we've done 22 kilometers, so that adds up so far. Machine beats man. We are now 100 kilometers into the trip, and I had to stop in we. We are down to 66%. Let's keep going. So, we are now 200 kilometers into the trip. Uh, battery's down to 38%. Uh, state of charge or state of energy is probably like 35% um, Projected range is 60 oh, 60 kilometers And what else? Oh, yeah battery has gained temperature from 8 degrees to 17.5 so roughly 10 degrees uh, in temperature gain Consumption is 1500 watt hours per kilometer so I think we won't make it all the way without charging, so I will charge sometime soon. See you then. First charge stop after 236 kilometers. We've had an average consumption of 15.4, 154 watt hours per kilometer. And we're charging at a nice 80 kilowatt. I've limited this a bit just to be nice to my cables and battery. Let's go out, check out the charger. Oh, and you can see the ref counter here displays the charge power as well. Yep, nice 80 kilowatt going in. We've got 100 kilometers uh, to go, so I will charge for maybe 10, 15 minutes and then off we go. Good, charging session basically successful. I charged uh, 16 kilowatt hours in 15 minutes, so that is pretty good. But I had to throttle uh, charge power because um, I felt one of my battery cables is overheating. And I'm afraid it's not sufficiently tightened against uh, the battery pole and I will eventually have to drop it down and uh, retighten it. That sucks. All right, we've made it to the destination. Uh, I'd say this uh, range estimation is uh, is quite conservative, so it says 10 kilometers more to go, but in fact we've got 22% and also the voltage indicates the battery really isn't that empty. So I might adjust that a bit to get a more realistic range estimate. Right, anyway, uh, total trip time including charging was Four and a half hours for 350 kilometers, which is okay, 75 um, kmh average. Not super fast, but pretty much what I was aiming for. So, um, I think the only negative outcome of this trip is the not properly tightened battery cable. That really sucks because it means I have to drop half the battery brick down again just to tighten a couple of bolts or one bolt, who knows. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's the way it is. That's what I was also going to find out on this trip. How it, how it does on longer trips and quick charging. And, well, now we know. Um, I keep this one short. Uh, I won't just, I'll spare you the details of uh, the return trip. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.